this is a follow-up to the last video in which I showed how to create invoices with payments and uh, in this video I just wanted to incorporate forms and how you can have buttons on your forms either directly uh, buttons or through macros so that you can open the report invoices usually in the query I usually put the quote uh, the brackets where I ask people to enter order IDs but if you have a button on a form you can just tell the button to look at the form order ID and get you the report for that particular one so I'm just gonna do a few things quickly I'm gonna create some forms pretty fast uh, so I'm gonna go to table service order click create and I can do a form wizard and add all the fields next next and I can give it a name FRM service order and click finish so the first form is done I can close this and I'll do the same thing with parts I'll create form wizard uh, and next add all of them now here I'm gonna choose the data sheet the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna add this form as a sub form in a tab in my main form so this form service order that I just created I'm gonna add this one as part of it so that I'll be able to see all the parts associated with each order ID and because there'll be multiple parts I would want it in the data sheet view because I'll be able to see all the parts all together rather than having to use the arrow to go to the next part and by choosing data sheet you'll be also able to add or edit any of the things there so I'll click next and I'll just change the name from table to form parts and I can click finish so this is the way it shows up and I'll try to reduce it sometimes it saves that sometimes it doesn't and I'll do the same thing with table payments so I'll go to create form wizard add all the fields next and here too I'm going to do data sheet because you can have multiple payments and there it is okay, and I'll just close that now I'm going to all right click on form service order and go to the design view and I'm just gonna make a little and I'm gonna highlight all of them so even if you had this form ready you don't have to worry about it and I can cut it and I'm gonna take this tab control and add it right there and right click here and I'm gonna paste it so those are all my forms I can click there you just have to be careful when you click because you have to be in the right place and this up here I want to add the sub form payment so up here I'm gonna look for a button that will allow me to do that is this button it says sub form I'll click it and I'll drag it here and it's gonna ask me which one do you want I'll say I want the form parts I'll click next and you see up here automatically it says that it's gonna try to pick the parts based on the order ID which is what we want so that's good and I can click finish and the property sheet up here I want the page 19 to say parts so just be careful because you have to click in the right place when you do these things okay and this is my page 18 I can say service orders now I'm going to click here, right click and insert a page. This is page 22 and right away I can change this to payments. And here too I'm going to use the sub form option and I'm going to add the payments. So there's the payments and it's again it's going to link, look, link to the order ID that, that is there. Okay, So I'll save it and just come to the front end so that's my order ID 1 and now when I go to parts I should see all of the parts for order ID 1 and then the payments and I can make changes here and I can even add new ones if I needed to so that's the benefit of it okay I'm just gonna go to service order and I'm gonna design view uh, service order now if I wanted to add some buttons up here in this part so that it will automatically open the report invoice because that's what I need so 
what I'll do is I'll go ahead and look for the button click it and then I can just drag it here and I can say report operation open report and I can also go to preview report or, or print report so whichever way you want to do it next and I want the report invoice and I'll give it a name open invoice and I can finish it so there's the button now when I go to this query here the query is saying adder order ID so when I click that button it's gonna ask me this question but I don't want it so I'm just gonna say forms I'm gonna double click on this word forms and then exclamation and the name of the form is form service order exclamation and the name of the field that I'm looking for is this one the order ID and the name is order ID so as I start typing here there it is order ID okay so this is the thing that I'll, that tells the order ID query that look in the forms service order form service order and look for the field order ID and pull up a report for that so I don't have to enter one two three in there now you will find that a sample of this will be in the description you'll see a link so you can download a sample zip file you could continue with the last video 10 file to use the same one and there is this notepad file that would be with it so if I was going to do this on the another tab which is the say I wanted to put a, a button in the parts so this parts is a sub form in the form so for that you have to use this so you have forms exclamation name of the main form exclamation the name of the sub form dot form exclamation and then the field name so order ID or whatever that goes here so that's the way this works so just keep that in mind if you ever had to work with that okay so I'm just gonna save it so now I'm just gonna switch over to the form view and make sure that you save all the stuff the query save it and close it because sometimes the effects you may not get the right thing so make sure you do that and uh, save the form too and now I have my button if I click it it will pick up order ID 1 and see the name showed up from the DLOOKUP from the previous and there's the order ID 1 with the parts and all of the details so I'll close this and say if I go to the next record record number 2 and in the parts you'll find that it shows me order ID 2 spots and the payments will also be for order ID 2 so it's a really good way to set up your form so when you are in order ID 2 and I click open invoice I should get order ID 2 the deal lookup picks up the names so if you haven't watched you can watch the last part of the video number 10 and you can have your last names and addresses and everything here your company information here so all the balance and all the information for payments too so this is a great way to incorporate a lot of these things into one form and all the buttons you could also create a macro that opens um, invoices so you know you could go to create and then macro and then you can say that you know I want to open something so I'll go to open report and then the name of the report report invoice and you want to view it in the report view or print preview so that's up to you you can choose that here and then you can hit save and then you can give it a name invoices whatever and then click OK so when you are adding the button you could just choose to choose the macro rather than doing it that way so I'll just show it to you quickly so when you are here in the design you choose the button and then you click it here so from this list you go to miscellaneous run macro and you should have the name of the macro there so that's another way of adding the button there so Hope this was useful.